Well, I am starting a uh, <sighs> process of determining whether the engine on my Honda Elite has suffered any damage or not. So what happened is, well, first of all, background on the bike. It has 24,653 miles on the odometer. Um, never had any issues other than the belt broke once. My own fault, it was old and dry. And uh, a week ago I was riding it uh, from Yuma, Arizona back to um, Los Angeles. Uh, it's a 300 mile ride and I stopped to check oil at a gas station somewhere in Victorville um, <clears throat> and I forgot the dipstick forgot it um, forgot to put it back in and I uh, rode away so 2.3 miles later I feel I remembered realized that I may not have um, I screwed the dipstick back in and I looked and sure enough there was oil all over the muffler and maybe even uh, the fender and the <coughs> dipstick was missing well uh, I went back and keep in mind this is 2 a.m. at night not the best uh, area to be walking uh, I, I had to walk a really up steep hill to look for the dipstick it took me about an hour to, to make it back to that gas station and I could not find it so I bought a quart of oil uh, the only thing they had was <clears throat> let me see where is it it was a semi-synthetic 7-eleven 10w40 right there and I bought some foil, heavy duty foil paper, thinking I will uh, try to cover the the uh, engine um, oil uh, area where you put the oil dipstick area to make it back home. I still had over 100 miles to go and I had to be at work actually at... Uh, later that day <clears throat> so long story short what I've done is I have um, I, I've placed a little plastic uh, bottle ca uh, ca uh, cap on top of that um, area and uh, then I wrapped foil paper around it and uh, used a couple of zip ties to try to hold it together and I took off. <clears throat> After about 60 miles, oh, and I, I added more oil just to to be sure that it, it's, it, it didn't uh, lose a lot of oil. After those 2.3 miles. So I actually added about a third of a quart. And keep in mind this bike only holds uh, about point. 7 of a quart, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, uh, 700 milliliters. So when I added another third of quart, um, and I, I, I saw that there was oil on the bottom, you know, using the, another zip tie to lower, to check the level, not having a actual dipstick, I couldn't tell exactly how much oil there was. <clears throat> So again, in 60 miles, I was at a stop sign in Palmdale and I noticed there's smoke coming out of it from behind. Uh, so I got disappointed. I thought, gosh, maybe, uh, maybe um, it, it, I lost the oil or for whatever reason the engine is smoking. But then I realized it's probably just because of the uh, muffler getting hot. So I pulled over and uh, noticed that the oil is actually dripping from under that um, uh, foil paper and, and bottle cap. It is dripping onto the exhaust pipe and obviously it's um, burning and smoking. So I added some more oil and figured another way to plug it in. I lowered the 
I'm gonna actually took it out. This is the first time I'm taking it out. I'm gonna be diagnosing it. I actually bought a new oil dipstick, which I'll be using a gasket. I'm gonna be draining the oil. I bought um, new two new spark plugs and so then I inserted a uh, 3 8 extension wrapped around with plastic uh, I mean rubber glove and I put again some more foil paper and uh, tied it up with this wire it probably could have been some other way to fix this but this was after 24 hours of not sleeping I was tired I was cold at night super cold I was riding through Salton Sea and then Yucca Valley and Lucerne Valley it's quite cold at night um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first find out if what level actually of oil it is right now let me take care of it all right let's continue here okay this is my improvised plug that I've used to plug the oil I don't know if any of it melted and went inside so again there's basically <coughs> metal extension wrapped in a glove and some duct tape this is what I tried to use to plug the oil. Well, to continue the story, actually. So, I've added some more oil. Because, again, I knew it was leaking. And I didn't know exactly how much came out. So, I added another quarter of a quart. Uh, I kept writing. Let's actually see what's left right oh gosh so it's half a quart left which is so 30 20 miles later the bike started losing power and you know like bugging down then it would get, gather it again especially on high rpm and I don't know what it is and then actually I noticed one time it, it, the, the temperature gauge started going up it, it hit almost three quarters I shut down the engine stopped restarted in two minutes and surprisingly the gauge was back to under half of the heat um, in the, in the range so I don't think it overheated and I made it back home it lost most of its power and it was really struggling so let's see how much actual uh what the level is right now we'll go from there well moment of truth let's see how much oil is in this engine right what I intend to do is replace spark plug, remove the variator cover, see if there's any oil around there, uh, put correct amount of oil, put new spark plug, and start the engine. Oh my god, it is overfilled. Not horribly badly. Well, that's pretty horrible, but at least it's only about an inch too high. Well, the good thing is it's not too low. 
that is a good thing that's better than if it was dry so that means the engine did not starve of oil but it could have done some damage because of excessive oil this is just a magnet i don't know even why, why it's here i don't remember putting it now the reason i want to remove the variator cover is because for some reason there's a little oil residue there and it, it's never been there so it either came up from under the from around the exhaust or maybe the whole variator is full of oil and that's why it was kind of uh slipping or struggling to gain traction so that was going to be my next step find out what what it's like inside i'll remove the the seat uh remove the spark plug look at the piston inside see if there's any oil there and hopefully there hasn't been too many too much damage done some good news here the fluid level coolant level is fine it's actually a little bit above uh, the level I, I remember overfilling it a bit and the engine otherwise looks looks fine and dry there's no any kind of abnormal leaks um, I did replace uh, just uh, valves about a month ago about a thousand miles ago so it did run well all right so last eight millimeter screw here see what is under this variator sometimes you have to work work it loose did you miss the boat? It is dry inside. Great. It's all fine inside. It's a little dust. Uh, belt dust. It looks quite alright. So that little residue must have been coming from muffler been splashing it all like that or something okay so next step i'm going to look at the spark plug it actually it's really time to replace it it's been over 5,000 miles for this plug and they should be replaced every five uh, let's get my yes I have it another toolbox yeah that's the one
these scooters have uh, by the way really weak spot here little omission during assembling this hook has been known to rub through this wire uh, when it was positioned uh, with the such a way that the sharp edge is resting right on top of the wire so I placed some um, tape and wrapped it around but all you can do is just move this hook out of the way so it doesn't cause any damage to the harness Hey, spark plug is, is dry. It is, it's a little anti-seize I placed on it last time I installed it. Gap. Where is it? The gap. Maybe a little large. But yeah, I think this plug has almost 7,000 miles on it. <sighs> and I'm going to look inside the engine compartment. It's hard to focus on it. Inside the, 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 the piston, the cylinder. But I don't think it's going to be wet there because this thing is dry. Yeah, the gap might be a little, maybe a little worn. So I've replaced the spark plug. I drained the oil, definitely was overfilled. I put the correct amount back. Also happened to uh, change the gear fluid right there had to be done a while back and right now is a moment of truth I'm going to start it and it will tell us a lot about how it will run whether there's any issue um, one thing to look for maybe is smoke from the exhaust it never did smoke but in case rings are messed up or something else internally, this, this could be one sign. Um, I put back the variator box. So let's, let's give it a try. Ignition. And let's hear it. No smoke. No abnormal sounds. Sounds great. Not much guess right now. This was and tomorrow I'm going to clean up the exhaust a little more. And I'm gonna ride it to work. It's only seven miles, which will well ride it around the neighborhood first, but um the only other thing to watch out for is temperature gauge. I don't think it will move. Um, well, and I'll obviously see if there is any hesitation or um, loss of power tomorrow, but I, don't, I doubt it. So that is it. 24,600 miles. The lesson is 
Not to forget the dipstick next time. <laughs> awesome. Safe Friday, everyone.